to say that Canadians are getting the runaround when it comes to self-directed investing is a bit of an understatement. On average, a Canadian will pay a $10 commission fee to buy anywhere between one and a thousand or a hundred thousand stocks. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's ten dollars a commission fee. It's like a flat rate, right? Whether you buy one or a million stocks uh, of one particular company, and if you want to sell, it's the same thing. Like the the third party that you're using, the vendor will take ten dollars from you. So, if you're long term investing in an index. And you're doing it every month, your baseline commission fees only are going to be $120 a year. I want to buy into uh, a vegan index like VEGN. I want to do that. Uh, but the way I invest is I add money monthly. So with something like that, uh, I, knowing I have to pay a $10 commission fee, it might make more sense to buy, for me, to buy it once a year. So I would save up enough money that, okay, this money set aside for the year is just to invest into that and do it once a year. And then again, keep in mind, I'm starting off $10 in the negative when I invest that money into that. That's the only way it makes sense. So Canadians kind of get the runaround. So I look for no commission fees, uh, stocks to buy. Um, it's kind of where my head is at. TDB 900 series, TDB 909. These are uh, E-Series uh, TD stocks from Toronto Dominion that don't have any commission fees. BMO has a list of uh, no commission ETFs. But yeah, Canadians get the runaround, and guys like me who are in long-term investments, uh, they don't want to pay $10 commission fees. Like They basically make day trading and swing trading impossible in Canada for little guys.